Hello, and thank you so much for checking out my channel again. I really am appreciative of you being here. We're gonna do something a little different today. Um, first of all, if you recall, I talked about a book that I found at the thrift shop. It's a book by Uem Akpan, a Nigerian writer. This was from the Oprah's 2009 book club selection. And I, I finally got to read, it's actually a collection of short stories. It's all fiction, but I will say I read the first story and I read it before I went to bed. And it was, I'll just give you three words. It was called an Xmas feast, E-X-M-A-S feast. And I will say, pathos, poverty, and prostitution were the themes of this first story. Yeah, there was humor mixed in. Sometimes I, I had to wrap my mind around what I was reading because the prostitute in the book was, was a child. She was, I think, 12 or 13, maybe 14 years old, very young. So that was a little bit disturbing for me to wrap my mind around. And the family that she was from lived in extreme poverty. I don't want to say too much because there is an ending. And I want you to decide for yourself, once you've read the story, whether or not you feel like it was a happy ending or not. Because it could be interpreted the way the reader wants to interpret it. It's, it's very artfully done. Um, that said, I did wake up in the middle of the night. I had a bad dream, you know, you, I didn't know what I was going to be reading, but I was determined to finish because it was, it was, it was a story that was fascinating to read. But there are several more stories in this book, and I will eventually finish reading them as well. But this time, I want to share with you a beverage. One of my favorite beverages is something that I do drink every day. Um, it involves prune juice, maple syrup, cayenne pepper and a bag of peppermint tea and a lemon. So what I like to do, and of course, you know, this is called the Teapot Chronicles. And I've got this um, pot, Ooh, this pot of warm, actually very hot water. <laughs> oh, you can see the steam coming out of it. So what I generally do is I, this is my quirky teapot that I got from a thrift shop. And the button is missing from the, it's the piece that, the button that you press to open up the spigot. But you know, I had this wonderful spoon, it fits in there perfectly. So what you wanna do is fill your cup up, I'd say half full with hot water. To that, you want to shake up your prune juice and add that. You want to put like a half a cup in there. No, actually you want to put a whole cup in there. This 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 is an actually, it's a mighty large cup. I made this cup at a ceramic studio here in Kansas. Anyway, you want to add a little bit of maple syrup. I put in about a teaspoon of maple syrup. I use organic maple syrup, that's my favorite. And then I'm going to slice some California citrus. This is a lemon that was sent to me from a friend of mine in the Los Angeles area. I received a whole box of lemons and then my sister sent me a giant box of oranges and grapefruits. One of her friends owns a farm there. So I feel so blessed. I want to say thank you, Marcia. I appreciate you so much for thinking of me. So you just want to squeeze a half a lemon in there. Now, I'd like to also put in just a little hint of cayenne pepper. And a friend of mine bought me this giant, <laughs> this giant container.
container of cayenne pepper. It'll take me 10 years to finish this. I only used a very little bit at a time. Quite potent. So you stir that around. You let it steep for just, a, I don't know, maybe 30 seconds to a minute. Stir that around. Mmm, tastes good. So I call that, I don't really know what to call it. I just say uh, the morning drink that keeps you regular. <laughs> How's that? And don't, be, don't make me explain to you what regular means. Anyway, thanks you for watching. I really appreciate you. Let me know if you get a chance to try this concoction. You'll be glad you did. It's great for your digestive system. Mmm. Ooh. Mmm. Has a nice bite because of that bitter lemon. Anyway, again, remember to like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.